our apples and snakes. Poetry with bite. Ow. Danny was a remote drone, built in a remote home, away from prying eyes and fiddling fingers. Because Danny had what you might call an explosive personality. But that's all right, so did all his friends and family. Surrounded from birth, but Danny couldn't handle it, see? He just wanted to meet someone different, someone a little more interesting. Because Danny looks like his mum, dad, and in fact everyone else, and he was sick of it. So the day that he was shipped off, he left home with a grin, unaware of the truly terrifying hellfire he held within. He was too focused on all the adventures ahead, travelling to new places and greeting all the people. And at first it was fun. He'd go off chasing forest fires, following them for days, losing himself in the hypnotic dancing of the blaze through the leaves, raving to the beat of the sirens that follow close behind, watching the wind whip at the flames into a whirlwind of wonderment. But after a while, Danny realised his job involved a large amount of loitering, both on the ground and in the air, he didn't feel it fair. While his kin went off to exotic places, he started gathering dust, rarely able to stretch his wings and do what he felt he must. Until one day, a nice black man in a suit sanctioned an expedition to Syria. Danny jumped for joy to finally escape his home's boring air hangar interior. He was finally escaping off overseas to a whole new continent. As he travelled there, he envisioned all the new faces he'd see. Places he'd meet, he could barely contain himself, excitement almost bubbling over. The concoction of cataclysmic chemicals beginning to stir within him. Unaware of the potential catastrophe, Danny was too busy daydreaming of all the foreign women. Because Danny was a hedonist, his main goal in life was having fun. Blissfully ignorant of the intention of his creators, he barely gave it a second thought. And why should he, when there were so many sights to see and so much to do? Not being a simpleton, he just focused on whatever he wanted to. So when he finally got to Syria, he couldn't wait to be unleashed on the skies, soaring around oblivious to the denizens' terror-filled eyes. But after a while he started to look a little closer and realised his newfound friends looked at him like some abhorrent creature from the mind of Mary Shelley. He felt like he was in a land inhabited solely by vegans and he was an ill-placed deli. And without realising it, a darkness slowly began to consume him from within. Resentment at those that shunned and judged without knowing him. All he wanted to do was make friends and have fun, but all they did was scream and run. And before he knew it, his adventure to the Middle East had begun to turn sour. His blood began to boil and the darkness in his soul had started to devour everything good in his nature was being replaced by hatred and disdain. All he could focus on was the pain. And before he knew it, tears of rage began to fall. And with every teardrop that hit the ground, a deafening explosion tore up in the city below, massacring men, women, children, and levelling their homes. In his fury, Danny didn't realise until he wiped out an entire settlement, until he became aware of what he was doing, losing all that resentment. But the tears refused to fall, turning from anger to despair and desperation. He tried everything he could but was unable to quell the annihilation. Throwing his metaphorical arms into the air, he began to question his existence, damning to hell those that made him with an unwavering persistence. If only his life's purpose hadn't been kept secret, he would have made sure to rot in the air hangar of his birth. Better a life of solitude and stagnation than risking raining his rampant hellfire upon the earth.